Hi, this is Rainbow Harmony here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And this is a personal reading for someone who had some questions about what's next in their life, what they should prepare for. They also want to know what's going on in their love life, and they wanted some advice for their career, and even a dream interpretation. So I'm really excited to be able to help out with this, and this reading's going to be shorter than most of my other readings because you found an ad that was from a really old reading, I guess, that said my price was 1111 and I decided to just kind of let it slide, but I am going to have to cut the reading a little bit short, which we discussed, um, because, you know, my full price is $22. So this is the last time I'm going to make an exception for someone. For anyone else who's watching, my price is $22, 22 dollars 22 um, but I need to go back and delete some of that stuff. And stay tuned though, because I am going to have a flash sale soon. My 1111 special will be back occasionally um, on days I'm feeling inclined to do so. But my price is $22.22. So this is going to be a shorter, shorter reading. So if you're interested in purchasing a reading from me, check out some of my other readings to see an example of how long my readings usually are. And because um, this one's going to be just a little, just. A little less informative. So where are you at right now? <laughs> I see the balance card. I think a lot of us are really balancing right now. It's that time of year. I'm starting to feel so balanced and so grounded and let me tell you I was not feeling like that you know for a while there and there's definitely an energy coming in and I feel like it has a little bit to do with um, Jupiter being in Scorpio right now. It is very like balancing energy. It's a really revealing energy. So this has a lot to do with the balance between the light and the dark I feel like with you. I feel like you're learning how to understand the dark periods and the dark times in your life and you're understanding how that leads you to the light and how that leads you to the growth. You're starting to accept that and so you're able to flow through it easier. You're not seeing yourself as a victim anymore. You're not seeing yourself as, um, you know, you're not seeing the glass half full. Maybe sometimes it's full, maybe sometimes it's half empty, but it's a balance here for you. And so this is where you're at. All about balancing. I also see that you're, you're learning how to do things in your own unique manner. You're learning how to really be authentic now that you've come to balance and you're getting more grounded and you're starting to understand your truth. You're starting to understand you have a very ancient connection with this planet and you're starting to feel more connected to it. You're starting to feel more connected to this life and to, you know, who you are here. I feel like for a long time you weren't really living here on this earth. Like, you were a bit dissociative, living out of your body, because I'm, I'm feeling this energy as I'm tapping into your aura right now. And um, I think this is coming through as like a sign to tell you like, congrats, like you've, you've grounded yourself, like you've done very well. And um, they're saying that now that you're more grounded, it's easy for you to use your intuition. So they're saying, start using your intuition to feel like what is right for you. The heart will always know the appropriate action. So there's some hope in this message for you and like a bit of guidance here for you, you know, where you're at right now. So interesting. What's next? <laughs> well, this seems very natural, which is why I'm laughing. Um, it's common for me to see that balance card along with this card in action. I've seen this before and I feel like it's because once you become more balanced and once you've been through a, a, some type of cycle, because I feel like it's some type of cycle, some type of karmic cycle that led you to this place of balance, um, it's time to face your fears now. It's time to face your fears to grow and to expand, to go to the next level. This could be talking in mer many areas of your life. Maybe it's time for you to like take the next step in your career or when it comes to your love life or when it comes to um, your personal growth maybe you need, you need to like acquire some new knowledge or wisdom or maybe grow some talents or skills maybe you've been working really hard on something for a while and it's time for you to actually like put yourself out there and celebrate that and like let you like brand yourself and like let your unique gifts and like talents and everything that you have like become a part of you know, who you are, you know, put yourself out there now into the world. And so that's what's next for you. I'm going to pull a clarifier. 
They're saying it's time for you to release your fear of lack. That what's keeping you from moving forward and, and like taking that step, facing your fears, you know, maybe trying to manifest some visions and dreams, desires you have is there is this fear of lack because of some things that have happened in the past. And there's a message that's saying, you know, there's always enough to share. Know that you're always provided for. And I feel like this lack mentality, it's coming from you feeling drained. They're saying, there's no need for you to be sacrificing yourself at the expense of others. Allow others to help you enlighten the burden. Ask for help. Sometimes it takes a team to accomplish the goals that you've set for yourself. So you need to make an effort when things get hectic to really count your blessings and ground yourself and just be in the moment. And that's what you've been doing now. So now you've learned how to ground yourself, how to be in the moment despite any chaos. And so you're ready for more now. Like more is going to be put on your plate because, you know, you're only going to be given what you can handle and you can handle more now. It's going to be a bit of a challenge, though, for you to move forward and take this risk despite a bit of fear and anxiety you might have. Let's see what's next. What's happening in your love life? You have this desire for freedom and independence. I mean, that's just huge. I s that's what this means right here. Freedom and independence. And so you're manifesting that in your love life. It's like you desire a partner that you can be yourself 100% with. You desire a partner who allows you that space to grow and to change. And um, I feel like right now, I don't know if I feel the energy of someone around you. If you're in a relationship, it could be like, you know, you're getting ready to... to Maybe peace out because um, I'm feeling more like an energy of someone who's single here, especially seeing these cards. And so you want to be safe. You want to be nurtured. You want to find that person who um, helps you see, look up and see the stars. You know what I mean? Someone to inspire you and share abundance with. That's what I feel like is your desire here. And, you know, someone who will help create that feeling of home and safety with I see is what's very important for you and so I feel like that's what you're manifesting that's what's coming your way when it comes to love you know this is your desires here and that's what's coming so get ready <laughs> um <clears throat> now to see what's happening with the near future in your love life so it might not be coming as fast as we would hope because I see this endurance card here and like there's this storm like like it's like you removed yourself from the storm and you're you're gathering your strength and so that's what's happening right now but in the near future you might have to be you know have some more endurance but I'm going to read you this card um it's cool it says harm none balance um really cool symbols here Standing stones are symbols of authority, boundary markers, and monuments. As objects of power and balance, and yielding and strong, blending earth and spirit energies, they once formed a meeting place where people in a community could decide issues and settle individual disputes before the gods. In this circle of smaller stones, a community council could sit in arbitration or discern justice, hearing evidence and rendering a decision. So start thinking about like what this is making you think of when it comes to your love life, because this has to do with the near future. The tradition of engraving stone obelisks and tablets with the laws of a society relates to the power of the megalith, and here symbolizes concepts of craft practice. The stone has been carved with the triqueta symbol of the triple goddess, the scales upon which the factor of a matter can be weighed for a balanced and impartial decision. The craft ethic of harm none for fairness and compassion, and the labyrinth signifying the path one must follow to reach the heart of the matter and find truth. So you're looking to find truth here when it comes to your love life. Um, the path leading to this circle of stones passes through the forest, and yet the light of truth shines through the trees to illustrate the stone and ensure that the truth of the matter will be revealed. So that's kind of an omen. The truth of the matter will be revealed. Maybe you're looking back to the past, um, or maybe you're just wondering, like, am I ever going to meet, 
you know, someone I can be on this level with? Because I do feel like you, you've had endurance, you've been alone for a while. So the answer is yes. <laughs> Objectivity is emphasized when this card appears in a reading. The standing stone shows that one has gathered information and fairly evaluated a matter and may therefore trust the decision reached. When pair, So maybe it's like you're feeling, you got to think about what decision you want to make. Maybe you need to put yourself out there. Maybe it's time for you to really put yourself out there when it comes to love and start dating again if you haven't been doing that. They're saying, um, when paired, um, the shadowy forest shows that nature also has a hand in justice. For while there is law, there is also the law of returns, karma, and retribution achieved by the actions of others who carry out the decision and return the scales to balance. So, I feel like they're trying to say, like, there's a destiny here when it comes to your love life. There's some type of destiny, like, things are going to be balanced. The small grassy clearing is sprinkled with daisies for truth, harmony, and communication. Um, so this stands for, in your, in your near future, like some themes when it comes to your love life. Objectivity, trust your own decision, balance, truth, um, harmony. So I feel like that's actually some really good, really good moments about your love life. I feel like it's going to be time for you to kind of move forward and put yourself out there. Now, I see advice when it comes to your love life. <laughs> They're like, get it, girl. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it seems like they want you to create this energy when it comes to your love life. Like, this is the energy, like, you're desiring. Like, you want this harmony, this peace, like, this acceptance like unconditional love like celebration um you want to feel light in this area you don't want to feel like a heaviness it's like i do feel right now now once again another card i'm gonna have to read to you but um i'm you know i think i mentioned i'm still learning this deck but it's spot on that's why i pulled some of these cards even if i have to read from the from the book it's like still spot on so um, the advice they're giving you is they're saying this is the card of victory and that energy can be applied in whatever area of life desired. So it's I can already see they're trying to inspire you to um, take charge of this situation. There is strength of purpose for success in any field and it represents the power of elemental air. There is also the clarity of mind necessary to put that energy to work for achievement. So like it's an omen, like there's some clarity coming here. There's some positive energy coming into this situation. Um, you're going to have to find like some balance and which you have in order to make this um, decision in your love life. Mm. The blue sky, white clouds, and light emphasize the power of the intellect to conceive ideas and work out solutions to problems. So it's like, it makes, yeah, some kind of problem in your love life. You know, it's like, maybe you feel held back. You don't feel like you're free in this area. And like, you know, like you can put yourself out there and let yourself shine, you know? Triumph over obstacles is gained through the application of sound judgment and careful planning. So, yeah, you're going to have to, like, take some action here in this area, not just kind of, like, wait around for things to happen. I'm starting to get this vibe. So, they say you're going to have victory and success. Like, focus, like, have a mindset of, like, knowing you're going to achieve this. You have strength. There's going to be a breakthrough in this area. So, um, continue on. Now, I also see your career right now they're like I feel like there is a huge there is a lot of abundance here in your career um I feel like right now you might not be focused on career it makes me wonder if you if you're like a stay-at-home mom or you, you stay home with kids so there's like something like that coming through and so you're wanting to um, be more prosperous because this is a sign of prosperity. Obviously, you want to be more prosperous when it comes to your career. There's this is a little egg here. It stands for like a, like a seed or something that's been planted. So there's some kind of idea or vision that's starting to come to you. 
and you're starting to see this with more clarity and you're starting to set intentions for how to move forward in this area. And um, so you've started a new career, you've started some type of new business. Like, I mean, that's that's totally what this card is for. But you're very dreamy, you're very in your head, it's ungrounded, like I positive energy for this um, business you're starting, but also a bit ungrounded with this energy. So um, career advice, clearance, and I feel like you're going to have a lot more clarity in this area um, if you cut some of the cords that are related to fear and um, worry and stress about this. I feel like you're projecting a lot of your past fears into this area. This is this uncertainty probably just comes from um, some unfinished business in your past. You might need to go back and kind of, you know, write and kind of if there's anything in your life you feel like you just kind of rushed over and you didn't have time to really like process, like go back and try to do some processing. Meditation can help with that. You can do Reiki healing, past life regressions, um, therapy, um, all sorts of different types of healings. Um, healing and clearance it's very personal to each person what I can recommend though um, when it comes to your career is checking out Jason Stevenson here on YouTube he has some amazing meditations to have you like visualize um, your future self and just kind of goal set and um, get motivation and that's kind of how I was able to start this channel and some of the other stuff I've done that I'm proud of and um, was kind of doing stuff like that, meditations and, you know, goal setting. And um, I wasn't able to feel confident to move forward and make a decision until like I handled some of those emotions that were holding me back and some of that baggage I had. So that's what's next for you. Um, start thinking about how you want to like remove this and like clear yourself to move forward you know sometimes old crops have to be cleared to make room for new growth and that's what's happening here you got to get rid of those old cobweb webs and those old limiting beliefs that are like keeping you from like believing in your worthiness and taking a chance and taking a risk and facing your fears you know so okay we're switching gears here and you had a dream about your ex and you're wondering what the meaning is. What is the, you know, the meaning of that dream? Uh, in, the, in your email, you said it was really intense and like you couldn't stop thinking about it for like days. And that's funny because sometimes I do occasionally have dreams about ex-boyfriends too. And I, it can be like really like throw you off because you're like, wow, I haven't talked to this person in so long. Like what's going on with this? So um, I think this dream it's a sign that you've confronted your darkness. I think this particular ex you had a dream about, um, it was a darker chapter in your life than you'd probably like to admit. I, I feel like this relationship really exposed you to some darker aspects of yourself and the other person and the human psyche in general. You were really hurt by this person in this situation. And so I think this dream's kind of, it's coming up now, like this, it's like a theme, like it's, it's actually a sign of happiness. It's actually like trying to show you like, look how far you come, like look at these chains from the past that you freed yourself from um, and you can do it again. You can do it over and over, like you don't have to allow um, this darkness back into your life. And I feel like that's kind of the sign, like, you know, yeah, this person came up in your dream, but um you were able to move past that and you were able to, you know, continue on, I'm, I'm hoping, you know, with your day and with your life. And now this person is just a dream. You know, they, they used to be this, this, um, there was like an intense battle with this person. I feel like, um, they mirrored back to you some of like your darkest aspects. And so you had to confront that and it was really hard. And it like the, the person was going through a lot of their own darkness. And I think it was just a big drama <laughs> to say the least. Um, and you got out of that and sometimes you don't give yourself enough credit for like what you've been through and like the situations you've chosen to like free yourself from and that's a huge theme here in this reading what for you is freedom freeing yourself from like these limiting beliefs and from these people who weren't right for you and um from things that are holding you back you want to be free and like that's your biggest desire i feel like here and that's like start looking for more evidence of that in your life. That's what this dream was trying to tell you. Like, hey, remember this chapter of your life? Remember like how crazy that was? And like, you're feeling all that like salty energy and you're just like, ugh. Um, 
be happy though because like that's not where you're at right now like you're way past that so they want you to feel happy that like you've you've moved past that and maybe to send that person some love and light and maybe not just try to think happy thoughts of them from now on try to think like wow that I learned a lot and I grew a lot from that relationship I hope that person's doing well hope they're doing better hope they're not hope they're not so cray cray anymore whatever move on (laughs) you know um advice in general so these three cards came up so this is your general advice just to kind of end the reading once again usually this would be like um a little bit longer but yeah i I allowed you to pay my special price just for this time because of the mix-up so The last message I'm going to lead you with is you might feel like you're left out in the cold. You might feel really lonely right now. You might feel like abundance is scarce, but in actuality, you're really just going through like this healing and this resting. This is part of your journey. It's part of your karma. Um, There's times where we need to spend time in solitude to just like chill and like get balanced. And like that's the first card that came out for you. So I feel like you're close to this cycle being done with and kind of moving on and, you know, out into the world, taking more action, you know, manifesting these visions from your love life um, and facing your fears. But, you know, you still have some clearance work to do and um, healing and rest like rest is so huge. I'm surprised the rest card didn't come up for you, but this kind of means the same thing. They're just saying need to get in this cave and rest it's all part of you getting out of this mess you were in because you were like in this tangled mess you know toxic relationships and um you know some drama around you and like just uncertainty and you crawled your way out of that and like you you're rising above the cloud is dissipating you're able to think more clearly be more grounded and what's next is you're moving into a place where you can face your fears and truly be free and um you're gonna feel more safe and so i feel kind of where your energy is headed here um but you just need to take it slow this winter and this fall season i feel like you're going to be doing a lot of resting and patience is going to be huge for you and you're going to feel like this sometimes you're going to feel alone and you're going to feel like you know what am i what am i even doing here like what is the point of this thing i'm doing but um you have to just be patient with this journey right now because it wants to take you somewhere. <laughs> um, and I wish I could tell you more, you know, but when I get readings like this for people, it's a huge, It's this is kind of like a huge message. Like this is standing out. It's right in the middle. It's time for clearance. So I'm going to email you some meditations and um, send you in the direction of um, I know a couple energy healers if you want to purchase any energy healing and um, just some resources that help me, but by all means, like meditate on this card and take some deep breaths and see what messages want to come out for you because you're going to need to find some ways to kind of clear, um, everything away so you can make some progress. And what I'm talking about clearing is it's really your mindset. It's your perception. Cause for you, you really, I'm going to turn to this card in the book. All about perception learning that on my journey so you are a bit overextended there's a lot of worry you feel unstable you feel isolated you and you also feel like dissatisfaction with just like doing the status quo like you're just doing busy work for your job and you um but there's a positive omen it's saying right now it's just a matter of time this negative trend will be reversed in time it's your karma it's just you need to rest and you need to have this solitude and like allow the unfolding of this situation you're out of the mess like this is you you were down here and you're away so like you're starting to kind of differentiate differentiate yourself from the crowd you're starting to kind of like understand who you are and like your truth a little bit but um for in many ways, this is just the beginning of the journey for you. And so you're going to have to allow it um, to keep taking you 
in this direction and you know you are going to come out of this and face your fears and get out there and take some action i see this horse like it's an omen of traveling it's an omen of like freedom and like connection growth but this this is probably what this season in your life is about and enjoy it learn to enjoy your time alone learn to fill this time you have with you know be productive like with your thoughts and everything like meditate like learn how to ground yourself exercise like get control over your body and your mind you know try to be take good steps when it comes to your health and start filling your mind with knowledge that um is more in the direction of like the kind of person you want to become like curate the knowledge that's going in your head right now try to stay away from fear-based media um, and anything that's going to suck your vibe down, low vibe people, toxic, any toxic energy, it's, you're very, um, sensitive right now as you're doing all this healing work. So, um, don't worry, you're not going to be alone forever. Your, your soul tribe and your soul family, they're going to find you and you just have to do the work though. You just have to, um, you know, rest right now and clear all these thoughts from your head. I would strongly consider therapy for you. Um, don't feel like there's anything wrong with that. I think everyone should have a therapist. Someone you can talk to about, like, stuff that's happened in your life and clear up some of these cobwebs, you know. Clear clear up um, some of these things so you can focus on the present. Because um, the present is a gift. That's why they call it the present. So, um, maybe that's what I'll, <laughs> what I'll name your reading. I'm, I'm picking, like, cheesy names for all my readings, so. I hope that this reading helped you out, and should you want a full reading, hit me up, and, um, we can get more into depth with some of these questions. I mean, I feel so bad, I, I really want to keep talking and giving you more information here, a little less vague, but this is what you get for the 11.11 price, so, um, once again, my readings are 22-22. It's just this person um, accidentally saw an old ad that I left up. My bad. And so it's the last time I'm making an exception. So if anyone wants a reading, check out the description below. And I hope you come back for another reading. Um, stay tuned, too, because I'm going to be giving some away for free to celebrate um, hitting the 200 marker. So peace out.